हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ यू नो पॉप ओएस 22.04 हैज जस्ट बीन रिलीज बेस्ड ऑन उबुंटू 22.04 नाउ पॉप ओएस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज प्रीटी मच पॉपुलर ड्यू टू इट्स ऑटो टाइलिंग फीचर एंड अदर इज ऑफ यूज इट इज अ फास्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड इट डजेंट यूज स्नैप्स कंपेयर टू द उबुंटू इट यूजेस फ्लैट पैक्स जनरली फ्लैट पैक्स आर बेटर देन स्नैप्स आई कैन से नाउ इन दिस वीडियो I will talk about that how you can install Pop OS operating system in dual boot condition. That means if you have already an operating system either Windows 10 or Windows 11 or whatever, and then you can install Pop OS operating system alongside it. So don't skip this video. Uh, watch all the steps, and at last, like the video and subscribe my channel for more such videos. In this video, I will talk about that how to install Pop OS. in uefi mode so for that you need to do something in the bios setting so first of all go to the bios settings actually bios key may be different for different brands of laptops such as f10 for hp and f2 for lenovo etc now in the bios setting you need to enable the pure uefi mode okay two modes are there one is uh, legacy bios one is uefi so choose uefi and then you can enable the compatibility mode Secondly you have to disable the secure boot okay so disable secure boot and if you are still unable to boot then go to the windows advanced startup options so all these things you have to do in the bios setting to install the operating system you need to download the iso file of the operating system either from the official website or from the fos torrent i generally recommend downloading via torrent okay and then you have to make a bootable pen drive of this operating system Now you can watch my Ventoy video by clicking the i button. Now you have to make three partitions to install the system. The first is at least 50 GB of NTFS partition. Of course if you give some higher volume that is 100 GB it will be better. Secondly you need 500 MB of FAT32 partition for ESP partition. This is very much important. And thirdly you need a swipe partition of at least 4 or 5 GB. Okay, so we uh, here in the Pop OS operating system uh, live uh, CD. Okay, bootable uh, from the bootable pen drive, and you can see these are beautiful workspaces, uh, actually cosmic workspaces we can say. And now this is install Pop OS. Okay, so Pop OS uh, installation. Uh, okay, now select a language. So you just make it default United States, and then a keyboard layout. It is uh, default. You can choose, and it is also choose default. keyboard okay so now uh, if you have the uh, you if if you need to do the dual booting so use the custom custom or advanced uh, partitioning right so go to the advanced and uh, go to the custom uh, settings that means you can uh, actually uh, change the partitions or whatever you uh, you can install you wish you have this is the partition manager you can see all the hard drives are here okay uh, of my pc and just extend it for a better view right so i have to i have to find those three partitions uh, where i have to install my system right so first of all uh, for root partition i will use dev sda3 so use this partition okay uh, this and format the partition okay right Uh, make sure that you don't uh, have any of the data uh, there right so use as root and file system is ext4 this is the default file system of the linux system right so all the things done okay so you can see there is a right okay now secondly i have to choose the swap partition right this is the dev sds7 this is the swap partition okay so you can actually see the colors are really beautiful so use as swap and uh, and and third i need the esp partition for the uefi boot uefi boot loader will store in the esp partition so but don't format this partition when you using don't format it because uh, it may contain the windows boot loader also right so if you format it then windows boot loader will uh, be lost right so don't format it just use as boot efi right so this is the amount point and uh, okay this is fat 32 partition so no problem with that Okay, now it is an install. Just uh, click it as an install, so it will erase uh, all the data there. Okay, but don't format the dev, uh, ESP partition, right? This is uh, very important. Okay, so now uh, click next. Now you can see uh, you can enter your full name and username. Okay, to create a user account. 
so i have just given right and go and choose a password okay and choose a password and uh, by clicking the next uh, your system will uh, start installing okay so uh, like this you can install the operating system now after the installation actually if you need a dual booting system you can follow one of my videos uh, by clicking the i button or you can install just a refined bootloader this is a very uh, modern bootloader of the uefi part uh, system uh, you need to download the refined bootloader so just uh, type uh, sudo apt install refined right and then install a uh, sudo uh, refined install so that's all for today's video if you like the video uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and support me thank you